Now let's uh, understand the concept of a martingale and how I can see that a standard Brownian motion is actually a, can be classified as a martingale. As a definition of the martingale, whenever I am looking at some process yt and there is a filtration that is available until let's say time s denoted as fx then what the martingale simply says is the expected value of the process yt given fs means given the values of the uh, various observations until the time period s and given the parameters, uh, given the values of the different observations until the time period S, where S is less than T, what I am trying to say is the expected value of Yt given Fs is similar to that of expected value of uh, Ys, which is nothing but Ys itself, because expected value of Ys is a historical value and Ys is already known. So, for all s less than or equal to t, whenever some such thing comes out, we file, we, we try to classify that particular process as a martingale. And at the same time, that expected value uh, of that modulus of yt, whatever is coming out that ys, should be less than infinity, means should be a definable kind of a value. So, uh, this is how I can define the martingale and a quick way to check out how a Brownian motion, standard Brownian motion becomes a martingale. So, I will have to try to find out the expected value of Bt. Now, what we are simply saying expected value of Bt given the filtration up to time s. So, what I will do for all these purposes, probably Bt, we will uh, start writing it as Bt minus Bs plus Bs. So, the same expected value of Bt then becomes expected value of Bt minus Bs given a filtration up to time s plus expected value of bs given fs now this part expected value of bt minus bs this is nothing but an increment the increment in a brownian motion process and we know that the increment follows a normal distribution with a mean zero and a variance p minus s so, the mean, the expected value is nothing but the mean here. So, which is becoming 0. And here, expected value of Bs given Fs. Bs is the value of the process at time s. So, uh, which is a known value, which would nothing but be Bs itself. So, overall, expected value of Bt is coming out to the Bs itself, which means we can very well uh, say that this particular uh, process, the Brownian motion, follows a martingale. And uh, there is another uh, requirement for us, which is nothing but the expected value of modulus Bt uh, should be less than infinite. For that, simply what we will consider is, uh, going with a simple uh, logic, mod x is always less than 1 plus x squared. We can do the same this is an uh, this is a known stuff mod x is always less than or less than uh, 1 plus x squared so using the same i'll take it as the expected value of mod bt is less than one expected value of 1 plus bt squared and okay so expected value of uh, 1 plus bt squared if i am looking at it is becoming expected value of 1 if I am expanding it, right? Uh, expected value of 1 plus Bt squared is coming out as expected value of 1. 
plus uh, expected value of x squared is nothing but we know that variance of x is nothing but expected value of x squared minus uh, expected value of x whole squared. So expected value of x squared is coming out as variance of uh, x, variance of bt plus expected value of x, expected value of bt whole squared. So this is coming out as 1 plus the variance of bt, we know it follows, uh, bt follows bt, I can write it as bt minus b0. So bt minus b0 will follow a uh, a normal distribution with mean 0 and variance t. So I'll take it as t and expected value of bt we have already uh, taken it as 0. So overall it is coming out to expected value of bt is lesser than 1 plus t and t cannot be infinite. So 1 plus t cannot be infinite. So expected value of bt is uh, coming out to be lesser than infinite itself. So we can very well say that Bt which is a standard Brownian motion is going to follow a martingale itself. Similarly, apart from Bt, now I can even check out that uh, Bt squared Bt squared minus T bt squared minus t, I say this process also will follow a martingale. Which means what should come out for me? bt expected value, expected value of bt squared minus t should come out to the bs squared minus s. If it is coming something like this, then typically I can very well uh, work out that even bt squared minus t is also a martingale. So for that what I will start with, I will go with expected value of bt squared. I can write bt squared like the earlier scenario itself, bt minus bs plus bs squared, correct? So I will segregate it now expected value of bt minus bs squared plus bs squared plus 2 bt minus bs times bs. Now, <clears throat> this is what is the expansion. Now, what I will do, expected value of x squared. I know I can write it as variance of x plus expected value of x whole squared. This is what is expected value of uh, B, uh, bt minus bs squared. And uh, here I can very well write, uh, okay, 2 times uh, bs, bs is a constant here. So I will take it as 2bs expected value of bt minus bs and at the same time expected value of bs squared even that is a constant so it comes out as bs squared itself. So now what is the variance of bt minus bs? We know that it follows a normal distribution with a mean equal to 0 and a variance equal to t minus s. So I will write here t minus s. And what is the expected value of bt minus bs? We know it follows a normal distribution with a mean 0. So 0 squared, 0. So plus 2 bs into expected value of bt minus bs. Even this is 0. So I will eliminate this. So finally I am left with bs squared. So overall it is coming out as expected value of bt squared is equal to t minus s plus bs squared which means expected value of bt squared minus t is equal to bs squared minus s. So that is where I can very well say even the process bt squared minus t is a martingale itself. Like that we can very well see that some of the processes typically form martingales itself. 
right so we we really uh, need to understand which of those uh, processes uh, form martingales right which of those uh, processes typically are uh, for martingales and a quicker way to uh, check out those processes that form martingales by using this kind of a mechanism find out the expected value uh, with respect to time t and see if the value is uh, similar to that of uh, the time s then we can very well say that uh, it is uh, a martingale as such all right